This is the in-class exercise assignment here. Isometric drawing example. Um, I'm going to give you some time to work on this. Here's what I want you, want you guys to do. You do this, get this one drawn out. This is your exercise to prepare you for the test. Now, I want this one drawn out as precisely as you can. Pay attention to this part here. This one, explain, it's a symmetrical part. This part could be an engineering part or corner bracket for a window, for example. Okay, that's why it's really small. Now, if you look at this object itself, uh, it's 35 five. All dimensions are in millimeters. And on top of this, it's a bit of a challenge uh, because when you complete the drawing eventually, right, your in-class exercise, uh, all right, this you will use an A3 size title block. When you use an A3 size title block, this title block will be huge. Huge. So therefore, in order to make it compliant, you need to make it small. You need to scale it down so that it becomes a 2 is to 1 scale. We always ask you to use the template and you know you keep scaling up right or not. The smallest we can give is 1 is to 1 scale. Right now it's the inverse, it's the opposite. So you need to scale the whole template down in order to use it so that it looks proper. It's part of your training. Eh? To be able to draw big, you must also be able to draw small. Okay? So get it to this and you will be forced to pay, pay attention now. Eh? You will be forced to use a new dimension style, right? Your new dimension, your two is to one dimension style because uh, only this is the correct one. If not, it will be too big. On certain parts also, particularly on this zone down here, you will be also forced to call out decimal points because simply the drawing calls for it. If you don't, what happens is uh, instead of getting a seven and a half, you will get eight. Okay, no big deal in construction, but if you in an engineering context, uh, for such a part that needs this level of precision, the whole part is wrong already. That means you rebuild or remanufacture. If it's a hundred thousand parts to be manufactured on this very, very expensive mistake. Okay, so please, you must learn how to do this. Key challenges will be down at this point. Hey, you got no dimension, you got nothing to snap to. Okay, let me give you a clue. This is actually a continuous ellipse. This line touches here. Okay, only with this line here can you project the rest of this triangle here. Notice this triangle is not a true triangle. It's actually a rhombus. Alright, it's a rhombus more than a triangle. Huh? So please pay attention to this. All required dimensions have been have been supplied to you. You do not need any extra. Trust me on that. Without any dimensions extra, you will be able to get this out already. You should be able to draw this out. Okay? Now, don't do left hand corners, right hand corner. You're taking forever. And please note, please try to optically assess where the lines of symmetries are. 